Linda Coach, Linda, author Linda to some of you, but I am coming to let you know that there is a new day approaching. Many of you have gone through hell and high water over this past year. I know I have. And you're wondering, God, when is it going to be my turn? When am I going to be able to uh, step into the promises, step into the things that you said that I could have? And I'm here to tell you that that time is coming. It is knocking on your door. And will you be available to open up the door to let the opportunities come in. I always talk about now faith, and now I'm getting ready to break it down to you with a whole new revelations. And Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And you might have heard me say, you know, sometimes when you have faith, you need to have the evidence. Faith is that evidence that something is going to come about. And the scripture says it right there. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But let me tell you something about substance because you're you're right now in the place of substance. You're right now in the place of you don't see it, but you have to believe that it is there. And I say all the time, you've got to see it before you can see it. And this is what I mean by that. There are things in your life that are evident that something big is coming, that something greater is happening, that something is just around the bend, but you've got to be in the right position to receive it. You know, if you never apply for the job, if you never send in your application, nobody's going to call you up and say, hey, you got the job, right? And the same way that you put in that application, the same way that you put in that resume, and the same way that you get that newspaper and you look around and you apply to the positions that are available in whole Hopes that one of these people will call you and offer you the job. But it's the same way with dating. You date, you know, here, there, and everywhere, and one day hoping that you'll meet the right one and you guys will come together as one. You do a lot of things that don't pay off in in the areas of other in other areas of your life. You'll do these things and you don't even understand that all of that is an operation of faith. The Bible also says that faith without works is dead, being a alone. And so in order for you to have the faith, you've got to step out on something that is not there. Just like in Indiana Jones, he had to step out in order for the the bridge to be manifest. Remember that leap of faith? He had to take a leap of faith, but it looked like there was nothing there. But as soon as he decided in his heart to step out and to make that first step, there it was. There was the bridge that was going to get him over to the other side. Some of you are standing on the brink of it and you don't want to step out because it looks like you're going to fall to your death. It looks like there that branch will not be able to hold you. But I'm saying that now faith, new opportunities waiting. Now faith, new opportunities waiting. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. When you step out, that's when he saw the bridge of here. That's when he knew that everything was going to be all right because he stepped out. And when he stepped out, it appeared. That was the evidence that you can make it to the other side. But what I love, because I just watched this clip not too long ago. What I love is that even when he stepped out and the bridge appeared, he still proceeded with caution. He still, even though he saw it there, he still proceeded with caution because he wanted to make sure that he didn't make a false step and fall off the side of the bridge because it didn't pay the way all the way. It was only right in front of him. So there was only one way that he could go. Some of you need to understand that there's only one way that you can go and you still got to proceed with caution. You can't get and feel like you got it all together. And then when he got to the other side, he threw dirt so he would remember the path. He threw dirt so he would remember how to get back. He threw dirt so he would remember how to cross back because he needed to come back that way because he was trying to save somebody else's life. This is what you don't understand about God and what he's trying to do in your life. So listen, this is what I want to offer to you. If you want to start 2016 strong, if you want to finish 2016 strong, if you are sick and tired of the hell that you're going through, if you want to see the manifestation 
manifestation of God in your life, if you want to see the promises, if you want to see your destiny and your purpose fulfilled, I'm getting ready to tell you how to do it. You have got to release and let go of every failure, every stumble, every time somebody hurt you, every time somebody said the wrong things to you. You got to let it go, boo. You got to let it go, baby girl. You got to let it go, baby boy. You can't hold on to it. Because see, when you hold on to those things, they tie you and they keep you from moving forward. You might feel safe right now, but there's so much greater ahead of you and you can't look back. You can't turn around now. You got to keep going because guess what? There's a storm coming up behind you. There's an earthquake coming. There's a tornado coming. There's a thunderstorm. And so you can't go back that way. You can only go forward. And will you take that leap of faith? Will you take that step of faith? Will you trust God in every area of your life? If you are struggling and you say, Linda, it sounds good, but I just don't know if I can do it. Then I want you to go ahead and get in contact with me. Email me at coach me now too. That's coach me now, the number two at gmail.com. And let's set up a strategy session. Let's set up a consultation. Let me coach you into forgetting those things which are behind and pressing towards those things which are to come because that's where you're going to find the calling, the high calling of God. That's where you're going to find the prize. Keep your eyes on what's coming and not what's behind you because what's behind you only brought you misery. What's behind you only brought you pain. What's behind you might have been a success, but now it's behind you. Forget that and let's move forward because 2016 we've got to start it strong and we've got to finish it strong. So in the last few days of 2015, let me help you get to the place where you can be all that God says that you can be, where you're not just existing, but you're thriving. You're not just walking, but you're walking in the favor of God. You're not just talking, but you're talking what God is saying. And, and the truth of the matter is you are worthy of what God has already decreed and declared over you. You know why? Because he's made you worthy. So let me help you. Let me help you. I had to come to the realization of this on my own. I had to come to the realization that, you know what? My 2015 wasn't as great as it could have been. And that was nobody's fault but mine because I chose to believe the lies. I chose to believe I was defeated. I chose to believe that I was unworthy. I chose to believe not, I, I say out of my mouth that God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent, but I didn't believe it. And I thought, you know what, God, you made a mistake. I'm not the one. I'm not the one to carry this load. I'm not the one to do this ministry. I'm not the one to grow this business. I'm not the one. But God said, I am. And so now I realize I am. And I want to take you along with me. I want you to have the very best 2016 that you can have, but it's going to have to start with you changing your mindset, you being transformed by the renewing of your mind. And how are you transformed by the renewing of your mind? That takes the spirit of God and the word of God. So are you ready? His hand is out to you. He's saying, come, my beloved. Will you come? Will you take his hand? Will you step out on faith? Because truth is, I'm right there with you. I am Pastor Linda Hillman, Coach Linda Hillman, Author Linda Hillman. And listen, for those of you that want it, this is available to you. You can email me. Also, you can go to uh, get my G E T M Y get my dot bio forward slash Linda Hillman. So get my B I O bio, uh, get my dot B I O bio forward slash Linda Hillman, L-I-N-D-A-H-I-L-L-M-A-N. All of this will be down in the uh, box up under me in the description. You can go and you can get that and you can get a free book 
a download to a free ebook called Start Strong, Finish Strong. But more than that, don't think, oh, I'll just go get the free resource and then I'll let it be. Get some help. Even if it's not me, even if I'm not the coach for you, get some help. Don't try to do this on your own because where has that gotten you so far? Doing it on your own, where has that gotten you? The Bible says, forsake not the gathering together of yourselves uh, and the fellowship of one another. Why? Because we are helpers one to another. We are a body, a body fitly joined together and we need one another. We need one another. And my name may not be Cindy Trim. Cindy Trim. My name may not be Paula White. I might not be Juanita Bynum or anybody else that you uh, revere highly. But I get. I guarantee you the Holy Ghost on the inside of me is the same Holy Ghost, the same anointing that's on there is, uh, is on me. And I have been anointed to do what God has anointed and appointed me to do. So let me help you because that's why I'm here. Don't worry about the finances. Don't worry about that. We'll work something out. You just come and get the help that you want and let the spirit of God did lead me to the right plan and the right purpose for you. That's all you got to do. Trust God. Don't even trust Linda Hillman. Trust God. Trust God that God has a message and he's trying to get it to you and he'll use whatever vessel you allow him to use in your life so you can be what he wants you to be, what he's ordained you to be, what he's called and gifted you to be. Because truly you are a gift to the world and it's time that the world receives its gift. You be blessed, you be encouraged. Remember only those that can see the invisible can achieve the impossible. And I want you to dare to be who God says that you are now, new opportunities waiting for you.